Oh my God. <laughs> It actually looks really good. It looks like the picture. Mm. Mm. I made um, makuksu, I think that's what it's called. You just top it with cucumber and seaweed, and it's really good. Mmm. <laughs> It's so purple. Make sure you send your <laughs> Whoa, it's like shaking. Look how big this avocado is. Can you hear that? For dinner tonight, I made nachos and salsa and like the smallest guacamole because you guys saw that avocado was rotten and then we only had two little baby avocados left. So this is what's for dinner. It's actually really good. So we just found out we don't have any sour cream and all we have is cottage cheese. So we're having cottage cheese nachos and it's actually really good. Because I'm mm. watched your video. Mm -hmm. Aww. And I, yeah, I get that. It's probably like. Yeah. Hello. Sometimes Abby brings home this really good bread from work and it's been here for like two days I think and I haven't noticed it till now. Look you like pull it like that and it's like garlic and herb and cheese and it's like so good. Like look at it. It's so good. Mm. 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 I love these eggs, but it just takes so much longer to cook than normal, like, scrambled eggs. And it gets way hotter.
So I just made this like mango ice box thing. I think that's what it's called. And it's like whipped cream with sweetened condensed milk and mangoes and graham crackers. I saw it on Instagram yesterday and decided that it looked really good and I wanted to make it. The mangoes are really shiny. So pretty. It's going to be fair. Oh my god, look at these. <laughs> Okay, so today my Nana told me when you're making french fries, add baking soda or baking powder. I forget, I forget which one she said. So I just added baking soda and baking powder. But I think one of them's like drawing out the moisture and making these like limp, like look. And now they're just even harder to fry because they're covered in moisture. Like look at them, they're glistening and they're like swimming in like pools of liquid. So I'm frying them like literally at high heat to even get them crispy. These ones actually look kind of good. They're just a little bit floppy, but oh well. Okay, the poutine is finally done and that was a terrible experience. Every time I make poutine, it reminds me why I don't make poutine. Um, it makes the house smell, it gets everywhere and it takes forever, so this is the last time making poutine for a while. Doesn't that look good? I put kimchi on top. Let's see if all the hardships was worth it for this. Oh, oh there's not even a french fry on this plate. Is it from the turkey maple? Oh. You could put me guys for dessert. We're having the mango thing again and it was so good at lunch and I froze it so I'm excited to see how it tastes now that it's like sort of frozen. Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Hello? Mm, so good. You can see the graham cracker layers. Oh my god, it's so good. Good morning, I am trying to make a tornado egg. One of these. You know, tornado egg. And then you pour it on top of rice. No. Oh my god. I think I let it sit for too long. Oh well, I give up. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. Cucumber egg, and then this like bread thing, and then juice.
So I just made these like s'more and marshmallow cookies. No. Oh, not s'more, uh, score. Score and marshmallow. And I found out today that score is toffee. I don't know why, I just like never knew what score was. And I also thought that score was like, had nuts in it. It's just toffee though, apparently. But yeah, there's five more in the oven. And then these ones over here. I just, oh. Cookies are ready, but I was gonna say, I just don't stop. I'm about to make bibim guksu for lunch. And the cookies just finished. Mmm, these look so good. My lunch is ready and I put so much green onions on it today. Look how good they look. So for dinner, I made roasted red pepper pasta and then arugula salad and then grilled halloumi. Oh, and these are the new plates that I got today from our place. Looks so pretty. dessert i'm having another one of my gorge cookies i made earlier today i microwaved it a little so now it's all mm, so good and milk oh my god it's so juicy For breakfast, I made a matcha and iced coffee, where you like, just mix matcha and iced coffee. And then, avocado, oh, I forgot. I was gonna put arugula on my avocado toast. Wow. There, doesn't it look so much better now? So I just searched everywhere for <coughs> different types of Coke yeah. in small bottles and they don't sell it anywhere but the gas station. But I got Diet Coke, Coke Starlight, Coke Zero, Normal Coke, Diet Pepsi, Pepsi Zero, 
Oh wait, no, that's, that's, that's normal Pepsi. And then pep, Pepsi Zero. What the heck? And then coffee Pepsi. There's dark blend and vanilla. Ow! I am making jaja, yeah, for lunch. This is it, and I'm having it with pickled yellow daikon. Mm. So the mango float that I made like two days ago, I'm gonna make it again because it was really good. But this time I'm gonna add strawberries, I think. Hey everybody, this is the final product. And now it will sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. It's going to absorb all of the liquid from the whipped cream and the fruit. So I've been so, so, so busy all day today. And now it's finally time to make dinner. I usually start making dinner earlier than this. It's 5.38 now. I'm gonna make cowboy caviar. I'm pretty sure, I'm sure you guys have seen cowboy caviar on TikTok. Um, but yeah, I just did an album unboxing video. I wanna show you guys just briefly. It's not what I eat in a week, but this is the albums I got. And then I also got these two, which are really cool. Yes, fridge. No. Oh, not that many chips. Another day, another Coke Zero. We will be consuming a lot of coke tomorrow. Yeah, this is the strawberry mango one. Um, I think it's ready now. I think I'm gonna cut a piece that gets strawberry and mango. So I can't wait to try this. Mango tastes like. So let's see if that was better than mango or if mango is better. Mango. Mmm, mango's way better. Oh my god. I should have made this all mango. Oh my god. So we just cut into it now and figured out that I accidentally did strawberry on top of mango and mango on top of strawberry instead of it being like half and half. So it's all one flavor, which is kind of sad, but whatever. That True. From you, you. <laughs> for breakfast, we got McDonald's. Me, Abby, and Emma. We went for a hike at 4 a.m. And now we're having McDonald's. What time is it? Seven. First time red meat. Well, it's sort of red meat, not really. It's pork. So. Oh, mm -hmm. Nothing. Like this? Yeah. Okay, I'm now setting up the Coke Zero taste test. Um, obviously, this isn't the order that the Cokes are going to be in, but I'll, I'm going to film like that and then cover it so that we can't see what's there. And then we'll sit behind them and then like taste them out of there.
And for lunch, before we do the Coke taste test, I made cucumbers and seaweed. I don't know. This is just all I could find and all that I wanted, so. Mm. Did the coke taste test and there's like a giant mess on the table now this is them i sadly think that my favorite is pepsi zero and then coke zero that's what i said in the video but right now i can't tell the difference honestly so they're kind of tied this is what we all said we thought everything is so if you want to pause pause the video here and pause the video here to see our results that's what we thought everything was. But yeah, Starlight is so good. I wish it was a permanent flavor. It says limited edition. Yeah. Okay, me, Abby, and Emma are out for dinner now, and we got truffle fries and big nachos. Say hi. Me and Abby got drinky drinks. Like, I don't know. It's not mine. It's good to keep it on. I think it was not spicy. And for dinner, I got this, like, tuna bowl thing. And Abby got shrimp pasta, and Emma got the vegan version of what I got. Hi. I haven't been this for a long time. My stomach is about to burst. Okay, you guys, that is everything I ate this week. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and be excited for Korea vlogs. I know I said it in my last two videos, but be excited for Korea vlogs coming in August. But yeah, that's all. Bye. Thanks for watching.